Many of you ask me how to uh, create mobile versions of uh, your cargo website, so how to make them adaptive or how to control some particular elements on uh, mobile versions. So in this video, I'll show you how to make changes to your text elements. So uh, you will apply these changes to some particular elements or the whole font style without changing them on desktop version. Here I have a simple page, which actually looks good uh, on mobile and uh, on desktop, uh, but uh, it's gonna be enough uh, for understanding. So the first uh, word is like H1 text and the second word is H2. Uh, I can control the look using cargo panels, but the problem is that if I'm going to change uh, them on mobile version so they uh, will be also changed on desktop version so uh, how to make how to make that correctly for this need uh, you need to know how to use media screen let's go to css editor and here you need to know how to work with media screen. Uh, I'm not going to cover this topic uh, just in this video because it's too complicated, but I'll show you just some basics. Uh, you need to start typing media screen and max width. Let's say 700. Uh, you can use any other size, but I recommend you to go with 700 pixels because this is like a cargo basic breakpoint. Uh, so sometimes your websites are going to be changed automatically when they pass through 700 pixels. Uh, that's why I'm using this breakpoint. But you can actually add some more breakpoints. Uh, it's not necessary that uh, you are going to use just only one. And everything that I'm going to be typing... Uh, within these curly braces it's going to be applied only to elements um, within this size starting from 0 to 700 pixels and let me show you how it works uh, let's change uh, h1 text uh, like in our case it's uh, this hello uh, word h1 um, font size Uh, 20 pixels and now you see no changes but you need to add uh, important and now you see uh, th mm, yeah, this word change uh, so uh, you also can check so uh, your text is the same here but uh, it uh, changed on mobile version and you can control it however you want Basically, there are several ways how to define your font size, but I recommend you to use only two of them if you work with Cargo Collective. Uh, one of them is pixels, so that means that your uh, style, uh, font style is going to uh, be static, so it looks like that. Uh, not depending on screen size, your uh, font is going to uh, remain the same size. And the second way uh, is uh, kind of responsive text so you can use not pixels but uh, viewport width so let's say 30 viewport uh, width oh no it's too large yeah let's go with 26 uh, now let me save and reopen this page and now you can see that the font changed depending on the screen size so that's how you can uh, make responsive text well d uh, don't mind the word word <laughs> because yeah I, I have no control over that yet because uh, I'm working only with h1 text now and uh, let me show you how to control not the whole font style but uh, some particular elements let's copy these two elements uh, well, I also want uh, to make a break between them, uh, like that. Yeah, now we have two absolutely similar uh, elements here. And uh, let's add an ID to one of them. 
ID, uh, well, let's say first. And let me save this page and let's go to CSS editor once again. And here uh, I can control this element without changing all font style. Uh, to control IDs, uh, we use hashtag. Hashtag first. Font size, well, let me just copy this line. A font size uh, 10 pixels. And uh, here you can see that I can change this element without changing any other elements and of course without changing it uh, on desktop version. To change other properties of uh, this text element, we can change its placement or for example, text align left. Here you may note that I, I did not use important, but it works. So, um, well, it's a long story why, but sometimes you need that, sometimes you don't need that. Uh, just check every time you make changes and you will see uh, whether to use it or not. And uh, let's also uh, move it to the top left corner. Uh, position absolute top 10 pixels. Uh, left 10 pixels and now this element is going to stay in this corner not depending on the screen size uh, yeah but uh, here I want these two words to be uh, like together I don't want to separate them uh, let me show you how to do that first of all uh, well let me remove this ID and now I need to wrap these two elements so they have uh, one common tag div and closing tag div. Yeah, now uh, this thing is uh, one whole element. And uh, here I can add this ID, uh, like ID first. And let's see what we have. Uh, here you can see that now both uh, text elements are placed uh, in the top left corner, but uh, we have the same text style as it was before, so this uh, line simply doesn't work. Uh, let me copy this line and remove it from here, and I'll show you how to control now how to control this element now. So uh, you need to start typing first and uh, then h1 and you need to place this uh, line about font size here so what does it mean uh, you control all h1 elements within first block so first uh, block which has id first consists of two elements and all elements which is h1 um, are going to be changed here so that's how to work with font styles and how to make your website uh, adaptive or how to control your elements. Uh, tell me if you need some more explanation or you need a video how to work with images, how to make your uh, cargo website looks good on any screens. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.